What is up guys? Eric Janicki back here with another workout and today I'm so, so, so excited. And actually honored to be honest. So I have the amazing Don't lie. Sarah Thank Safari you. here with me, working out with me. This girl is absolutely blowing up, but what I'll say about her is she's like the most genuine, down-to-earth person and she deserves Stop, I'm gonna all cry. of the great things coming her way. If you guys do not follow her, go and follow her. She's insanely shredded. She's got this amazing physique, but also amazing personality. So if you're not following her on Instagram, YouTube, her link will be in the description. Aww. But we're gonna crush some- That's the some... nicest hype up I've ever heard. <laughs> we are gonna be crushing some arms, some delts. I'm gonna show her some variants she probably has never done before, cause we're just gonna have some fun with it. I'm gonna and... show you some, I'm gonna show you some stuff. She's gonna show me some stuff. Yeah. So Sarah, introduce yourself real quick and tell them about why you want to hit arms with me. All right, guys, so, you know, it was pretty simple. Legs were out of the question. And I didn't want to hit chest and back because I hit that yesterday. So arms was the only thing that was left, but legs were out of the question. I wore swap pants, so I know we wouldn't hit legs. I mentally prepared for arms, so I'm very excited. Let's get it. Oh, I know what we're doing. He's so predictable. Oh, wait, you're moving no, it? No, tell me what we're doing. And where? Okay, well, yep. Now I switch it up because I called you predictable. Now you're gonna be like, no, we're gonna stay here and do an easy curl bar because you're like, fuck, she knows what I'm on. I don't ever do single arm overhead number. Like, sorry, like both hands. Overhead. Oh, both hands. Yeah. Overhead. 40. But like, like I do a 40, but like my right arm does 30 pounds and my left arm does 10 of the pounds. You know what I mean? I'm like a wrecker with this one. Let's go. Oh my god, is that you? Totally was. All right, guys, we are starting with a dual dumbbell overhead extension, dropping into a single arm drop set. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna grab both these, we're gonna come up on the bench. So this one's a great exercise for both the long head of the tricep. And the short head, yep, yeah. got it. So what's unique about this exercise is that we're not only pressing up, but we're pressing those hands together. So you actually have to press the dumbbells against each other to get that extra bit on that long head. And that big stretch behind the head is really going to emphasize the part of the tricep that's really right next to my ear there. Whoa, what the fuck? Look. Look at that fucking vascularity in the armpit. That's crazy. So we're doing a drop set here down from doubles, down to singles, speeding them up. So usually my thing is like, oh, I'll do, you know, a third of the weight that the person I'm working out with does. So a third of 50 is like 17. Okay, fine, I'll try 20. I'll spike. Okay. Oh my God, this is how I break my face. Oh. Press them together, and now come down. I got you. Behind, ah. push up, squeeze. There, just to there, it's perfect. My lats. Does this look okay? Yeah, it looks perfect. So really stretch behind, bend the elbow a little more. Okay, grab just one. Just, uh, go, just grab just uh, one. Come on, grab uh, just one. Nine. Ten. Ah. Well, that's called hypoxicity. So when you do slow reps like this, drop sets, things like that, you're inducing higher levels of hypertrophy because you're limiting the amount of oxygen available to the tissue as you continue to drive through slow reps. So as I get towards like rep eight, nine, ten, super slow, I'm going to start limiting the amount of oxygen available, and then it's going to start to go from slow twitch to fast twitch, small to large muscle fibers as I continue to dig through this set. So I'm gonna get more hypertrophy in my bigger muscle group or in those larger sarcomeres as I continue to drive this set. talking while doing this? When I met you, you probably had, I think you had like 600 and something thousand like four months ago. Right? You had like 1.5 million on You grow really fast yeah, too yeah, though. That was just like in that the- was a, That was a nice little like way of being like- You grow fast too. I've grown like, since I met her, I've probably grown like 100,000. She's grown like 800,000 and like a 300% increase. Like Here's the secret, okay? You gotta post consistently, which you do, okay? One pops off, and then you gotta keep posting to ride the wave of people visiting your profile. And then if you have another one that pops up while, while people are visiting your profile, then you got double, you know? You know what I mean? Right, so she's saying, you get a viral piece of content, just post, post, post. Like two, like maybe you're two, two a day or just one? I post one today. Okay, so, but, so if you have a viral post, you make sure you get the other post in. Yeah, like some people think like, oh my God, it's doing so well, I'm just not gonna post anything else. No, wrong. If it's doing really well, you need to keep posting. I think from that one picture, I gained like 200K. That's what people wanna see, okay? If you, like if your niche is like gym, then step outside the gym and do something and post a picture of it. The ones where I'm like doing something on the field or running or something, people fucking like, 
to lose their marbles. So like, oh my god, Eric's not in the gym, he's fucking running. And I get all the hate comments in the world like, oh, fucking so slow, he's such an asshole for running. But it doesn't but matter, it doesn't bad matter. comments or good comments, because they boost the algorithm. On my posts, if you want to comment something mean, that's okay. The words don't hurt me. It just helps the algorithm. Joe Aesthetic posted a picture with me today, and then the comments were like, why is this girl famous? She's so mid. And I was like, ah! I have one piece of advice for you. If you have people posting negative comments, do not engage because the minute you engage, they won because they know they're living like rent free in your head. Plus they know they've taken somebody that's like hundreds of thousands of millions of followers and they're replying to their comment, like that makes their day. And then they like will come back at you and you're probably gonna say something mean back. And then you coming from a platform with all those followers and looking a certain way, you're gonna look 10 times worse responding in a way that's negative, I just ignore them because yeah, that's the best ammo. Cause then they're pissed cause they spend time coming and con commenting on your page. You don't pay them any mind. You don't pay them dirt. And then they're like, fuck, like that makes them so much more mad that if you come and say like, oh, sick profile bro, 300 followers. You look like you've never worked out in your life. Then, then you kind of look like a douchebag too. you look like the asshole you because bad. you're the one with the, with the platform and you're dogging on other people, so don't do it. Don't read into it. Don't read, I actually don't even read them a lot of times, especially TikTok comments, never read them. You just get called mid? I get called handsome young boy. Bitch, I don't do anything, like I don't even, I barely brush my hair in the mornings. Like, yes, bitch, I'm mid, surprise, I don't give a fuck. That's the thing about Sarah that I think people love is she's so much more raw, she doesn't take two hours to do her makeup in the morning. She'd rather be here working out and having fun and enjoying her time with people than fucking sitting in front of a mirror putting on like caking on like 14 layers of makeup so i think that's what people love about sarah and how organic she is and if there's something to take away from that i think the more you try and like stay at home and focus on looking perfect the less you're out there getting content and like making connections and actually having substantive like human interactions that are going to make you happy so that's what i would say do more like sarah's doing and it's all it's all paying off she's not only having these great interactions like she comes in and has the best energy but then also gets to like reap the fruits of her labor of being here and getting content and making money off of that content if it's not too much to ask and i hate like making it about money but like are you monetizing your profiles right now i'm very open to deals i don't get that many but like my snap is monetized which snap makes a shit ton of money YouTube, like I grind on there, I make good money, whatever. Snapchat's where I make the bulk of the money. And then brand partnerships. Snapchat, let's just say, pays a lot. I'm in like the top 50 creators. Like I know someone who's made 30 racks a day. One day, it's not consistent. That's the thing with Snapchat, it's not consistent. But it's like, bro, 30 racks a day, I don't care. Last three. I can't. Yes, go, 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 go. Fuck. Come on, sir. It's hurting. You know what I was gonna say during this video? Is that like girls, when I work out with them, always like push so much harder than dudes. So I need you to maintain that. So a lot of times guys will do that. We'll be like, oh no, I'm done. I can't like, push. No, but you need to be better than that. Come on. Wait, I have a question for you. How do I get more vascular? Vascular is always gonna be down to two things, genetics and how lean you are. So everybody like attributes vascular to steroids. Steroids don't make you vascular. They make you a lot of times leaner, which then makes you more vascular. If you have more muscle too, it's gonna push those veins closer to the surface, to the skin. And so also age is a component too. As you age, then skin gets a little thinner. You're really young. I, you have so many veins. I just want a few, like running through here maybe. A little bit more muscle mass, pushing the veins vascularity closer to the surface, dropping body fat a little bit. But like I said, you gotta understand your goals too. Why does my left arm have more vascularity than my right arm? One is always gonna be a little bit more than the other. How do I get my test up naturally? Stop training seven days a week. Focus what? more on recovery. Focus, get on more healthy fats in your diet. Probably, you could probably stay too lean for a girl at all times. Not to say that you're like 8% body fat, but you also stay pretty lean. There's probably a, like a heightened level of cortisol with the pressure you have as like an influencer. You know what it takes? Ashwagandha. There you go. Ashwagandha is a great supplement. But yeah, it's likely due to heightened cortisol due to the pressure of your industry. I think it's probably due to lower amount of healthy dietary fats from... Like salmon and stuff. I eat a lot of salmon. Dude. Yeah, salmon, avocado. I like jasmine rice a lot. You're right. I just need to fix my diet. I'm also on my shark week. Shark week, So yeah. I look a little more bloated. That's why Sarah, everybody loves Sarah. She's like fucking so real. Most girls would never ever in a million years tell on a video what time of the month it is. And Sarah's like, it's shark week. It is. But that's why I look more bloated, more fluffy. You're on a different cycle, not yeah. a menstrual cycle. Not a menstrual cycle, but... Wait, may I ask, what are you running? So... Or do you not talk about it? 
I mean, I'm, a, I'm pretty open with it. I run so much less than so many people, so it's fine. Um, testosterone based, and I get everything through my clinic. I'm actually not running any orals. I try to keep it uh, low orals because of um, just the fact that they're more body toxic. They, I will run them towards the end, but uh, growth hormone, uh, something a peptide that actually induces higher level of natural growth hormone. It's called CJC. Yeah. And then testosterone and epromerol is another peptide. Those are just peptides. Yo, so do you like inject every other day? Right now I'm like every third day. Every third day? But I think what you do is a lot of people take it, take stuff like that, and then, not stuff like that, like they take like performance enhancements and then they don't train the part or eat the part or like sleep the part. You know what I mean? But it seems like you, you train the part, you sleep the part, and you eat the part. So it is. I mean, PEDs are performance enhancing, not performance and replacing. So. You can do performance enhancing drugs and look like absolute garbage. Yeah. Because you're not doing anything else right. And actually will make you look worse if you're eating like crap, sleeping like crap. There's so many people in the gym that you probably would never guess they're on PADs. That are on because a they don't of PADs. look ideal. Whereas no. like probably a lot of people think like Sarah's on PADs or our friend Summer, who we were just talking about, is on PADs where I'm pretty confident that neither of them are. No, I've... But they're just like so meticulous with their nutrition and people want... People love to like have a cop out of why they don't look a certain way. And the, the reality of the matter is like Sarah and I would both look amazing. Sarah and I still looks amazing without being on anything. I would look, you know, I, if I have photos of when I was natural, everybody would think I was. You'd be on it, yeah. You've probably already reached your natural like potential. You know what I mean? You, you probably plateaued, hence why you went to taking stuff. For me, I know there's things I could fix in my diet and I know I can implement cardio. In Minnesota, why not? Show you how I'm built, come a little closer, okay. ayy. Lot of heart, been smart, aura got a glow. We can restart, give head start, still get the same result. I'm about mine. Don't you get it confused? I'ma win, win again, yeah, that's all that I do. I got that dog in me, yeah. Turn me up. Crush that workout, Sarah is such a good sport. I tried to she hang. She did this with me. I know she was tired today. She fucking stepped up. She got some great content. So if you're not following her, go follow Sarah. She's an amazing human being. If you guys are not subscribed to my page, please, I mean the world to me. Subscribe to my page. I'm gonna be putting out some amazing two videos a week. Some fitness, two. Wow. some lifestyle, some fun, some challenges. So it's gonna be amazing. Also, check out Alpha Leap for the best apparel in the game. Use my code Eric. I will see you guys on the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Hell yeah. Bye Happy guys. Bye.